Hey guys, in this video we're going to be water cooling wires. Now this is a bit of a far fetched idea, but I really just want to see how much current I can pump through this tiny wire. You can see how thin this thing really is. I wouldn't rate it for more than 5 or 10 amps. I've cut 5 feet of wire and 5 feet of this plastic tubing and we're just going to put the wire in the tube. I've connected the tube with the wires to this 3 way valve. Alright, we've got a water cooling setup. We've got the water here, and it's pumped by this pump through this tube into our three-way valve, and I'm gonna hot glue the end right here. You'll notice the wires at the end are shorted, and that's so I can put a current clamp on it. Upon powering on the pump, you'll see the water flows through the tube. I've got this arc water that supplies 160 amps at approximately 50 volts AC. I don't know how accurate the readings are on it, but it puts out something like five kilowatts. I'm connecting the wires to it. The starting temperature of the water is around 65 degrees. Holy crap, that's over 100 amps. I find it hard to believe that after all that, the water temperature barely rose one degree. Okay, that's not at all surprising. The wire that wasn't underwater completely charred and caught fire. I think for the next test, we need to submerge this part. All right, I got a tub of water. Now this is sketchy with AC currents going through water. How much we run in, how many amps? 120, wow. Oh. oh wow, look at that. All right, so it looks like this wire can't take 120 amps. Before you discount that last test, let's try this one with no water cooling. I have it hooked up right here. Since we burned all the plastic off the wire, I'm going to try just the bare copper wire underneath the water to see if it will sustain the 120 amps. Whoa! That's working! 140! The wire's been kept cold. <laughs> Why is it vibrating? And we tried the breaker. So is it cost effective to water cool wires? Well, probably not. And even if you could water cool these tiny wires, the efficiency would be absolutely horrible because they're giving off so much heat. I'm sure there's some cases where water cooling wires would be quite helpful, but this just isn't one of them. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you guys next time.